<clears throat> What's up, Rachel? Hey, this today it is my time about one o'clock on Monday. Uh, so it's almost probably nighttime, you guys. But as I mentioned, I will create these videos. I think that this is a very highly effective way for me to communicate, hopefully, and just get my ideas out, my thoughts out, and then also give you some things that I'm going to need your help with, support with, uh, assistance with as we move forward. That way, the whole goal is for you to have the autonomy to do what you need to do while still understanding what it is that I'm doing over here. And I desire, um, as I said, there's a lot of moving pieces in different places. I'm in the middle of a brand development and a kind of company development. And I'm working with a group, a media group on that part. And so in exchange, you know, while that's happening, there's still some things that I want to keep going in terms of what we're doing here. And so I think there can be some collaboration, uh, but, uh, but I wanted to make sure that these videos help you, help you understand clearly where it is that we're going. And so what I did is I sent you an email and the email had a template. It had the end of the day report template. Uh, returning back to, to the power of that template is such that, as we know, the first thing where it talks about what it is I need you to do or what it is that you did. Uh, what's going to help is as we break things down into projects, if you will, this will allow me to know where we're spending our time, where we're spending our energy and the results that we're getting. So I just listed, I believe, I believe you should have about, there should be about 12 different kind of project areas that we'll be consistently going through every week that you'll be working with, that you'll be doing different things with. Um, not every week you'll be doing the same thing in terms of dealing with each one, but we want to have that list uh, each week so that way when every time you send back, you send an end of the day report, you can address underneath each one of those project areas what is the task that you performed that day and or what are some ideas or thoughts or things that need to get done. So I hope that makes sense uh, on that part. Uh, and so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go down each one. I'm going to just share my thoughts around about it. Uh, again, I never want to stop you from being creative. I don't mean in, yeah, I don't want to stop you from being creative. I don't want you to stop you from having ideas. I don't want you to stop you from researching, having taken an initi initiative. I don't want to stop any of that but I just wanna give you where I'm at right now and where I think we're going and what it is that I need you to do. So let's kind of go to the list, okay? So here we are, I have one in front of me, but you have yours. Again, you couldn't see that because of the glare. But anyway, the first one is social media management. So this is a course, this is a very large area, an area that you mentioned that you had profound experience with. And so therefore there are some different areas, some different tasks underneath that that I want you to do. So let's kind of go through it. Uh, the first one there says grow, grow, grow the audience. So every week, of course, I'm looking for our audience to grow, knowing that the services that I provide from personal development uh, has everything to do with the larger the net, the larger the pool of people, the greater we can have an impact, whether even from just impact, I wanna grow in three areas, income, influence, and impact. And so we wanna to continue to be growing our audience. So you're in charge of growing, the, growing, our, growing our audience. So that means, and it has down later on, as far as reports and stuff like that, I wanna basically every week, I wanna be able to see where are we at, where are, we, where are our numbers at? Where are our numbers at the end of the week uh, on by Friday? Uh, where are we at in terms of on Twitter, Facebook, you know, Instagram. So create a spreadsheet and then let's have a dates at the top of it. So at the end of each week, so we can kind of see how are we doing? Yeah, and where were we last week? Where are we at this week? And so I want to be able to, I want you to be able to create a spreadsheet so we can track that. So when you're in charge of growing the audience that we have. Now that audience, yes, is on say social uh, media. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn as well. OK, uh, you know where we can grow that or we can be strategic and reaching out uh, as, as well. And then we also, of course, we have down here on, a, you know, as a database as well. So in terms of th within my database, I want to make sure we're growing that. That means people are signing up for the motivational newsletter. That motivational newsletter, it basically has when you go in, you can click, hey, I want the motivational newsletter stuff or I want to be updated with motivational newsletter or I want to be updated weekly or however this, uh, the timing that I put it out with foundation stuff or sports camp stuff. So people, once they click the link, they can choose which one. All that is stored in constant contact, which as I mentioned, we're gonna switch over to MailChimp 
I haven't done it yet. I kind of put it out there to you before, but we haven't had, remember, that was when we weren't, you know, I couldn't reach you and we couldn't go back and forth. So that is the end goal of that. But growing that database, because again, the bigger our network, the bigger our email list is, the more people that we can reach out to and we can connect with the messaging um, that we have. So growing the audience. So this week, okay, what, what can we do to grow our audience? How can we grow our audience? And at the end of the week, Find out. Let's do a, create that report. What are, where is our audience at right now? What are our numbers? So we can know what we're looking at. And numbers can tell us a story. That's number one. Next one, create pages. Any pages, of course, that we're in need right now, right now, we're basically focusing, as we said, on the Donovan Darius on, on social media. The Donovan Darius Facebook, Donovan Darius public page, the All Pro Motivation page. We've been, you know, pushing people over there. Of course, I still have my personal one. Um... Uh, and kind of going from there. I did have this software called Live Leap. Live Leap is, it allows me to go live on my personal page and it share the broadcast instantaneously and simultaneously on the other channels that I have uh, on Facebook. But I have been having some technical difficulty with that, so it hasn't been going all that well. When I don't have technical difficulty with it, I will be going live from either my public page or the All Pro Motivation, which it will then put it out there. That software that tool will also go live on um it'll send a notification on twitter to say hey i'm going live so they can click a link in my twitter my tweet uh, and then it'll take them to that so they can see it online it'll do the same thing for linkedin so i just wanted to let you know the name of that software that tool is called live l-i-v-e leap l-e-a-p you can take a look at that so you can you can know all about that as well and so those are the pages I have. So right now, I don't need you to create any pages. Uh, there's no pages that you need to create. I just wanted to mention what we have right now. So what I've been doing is after I post something, I've been sharing it. I've been manually doing it. I've been sharing it uh, to, to the other pages uh, and, stuff, and stuff like that. What I would, and, and I can do it pretty fast, so I'm not going to really task you with that right now um, because I can just quickly share it to those other pages. All right, next one. Create graphics and memes. And so I downloaded a little, um, I downloaded a little um, app, you know, I think it's memes, M-E-M-E-S, uh, and because I really like the memes. I like the things where, again, there's a picture or there's a little video, and then at the top, it has a caption at the bottom. Statistics show that that gives a greater, um, that allows things to be noticed a little more. So again, create graphics or mean. Memes, the graphics that we're talking about are our motivational graphics, those little motivational things that we've been putting out there. Uh, we have not had our discussion yet about that, about what is the idea, what do you see? Want to look at, uh, want to have that conversation. What, what are the graphics or, or the templates in, I guess, Canvas that you're looking at? Which ones I like the most? Um, what, is the, what is the mindset beyond the one we choose? Uh, because again, I like it to look a certain way and I want it to be a certain way and I don't want uh, us to build a track record of uh, not having a consistent flow with that. So again, uh, let's continue. Let's continue to create some graphics. You know, we'll continue to create some graphics and memes. But remember, I want to have this conversation just so we're on the same page because I don't want you to I don't want you to create something. And then all of a sudden it's like, ah, oh, no, nah, I don't like that like that. And, and you're so far off or I'm so far off or we're just not on the same page. We've got to have, I think, a conversation with that and or. Again, me just sharing some things with you. I'm like, hey, this is what I like. This is what I like. Um, so again, whatever graphics and memes you have created, continue to, I guess, upload them in Trello. I have not received any notifications from you through Trello when you upload stuff. So um, we have to do something where I'm able to, you're able to mention me, send it to my email address or something at Donovan Darris. Mention me in that way just so I can see it. So that way, once you finish it, I can see it. As of it, as it stands right now, I haven't received any notifications. So although you have created a lot of stuff inside of Trello, um, I don't know that because I don't just go to that. Um, again, maybe I can go and start looking at it, but to be more timely and efficient, uh, if you were to if you were to mention me in those, then I can go in there and look at it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I can see what you're doing. I can give the thumbs up, thumbs down, or I can give any feedback from there. So find a way to mention me so that way I can get it and I can go from there. We did talk about before you creating your email. I did went in there and I tried to add you so that way there can be some differentiation to when I create something or you create something and we mention each other, but I didn't get any feedback from you with that either. So again, we have to come to a conclusion on what it is that we're going to do 
so that way we can know it, one another can be notified uh, once we upload things since we're working so close and we want to kind of get approval and review for those things. So again, this week, you know, we can create some graphics, continue to create, some, uh, you know, graphics, uh, you know, and of course, and the memes. As I said, the memes, I'm trying to find, uh, you know, playing with a couple different apps so that way I can create the videos that I do, like the morning videos, and I can create them with the memes. Um, you know, I can create it with the meme there uh, and with the whole thing. But only thing I found so far is allowing me to do about four minutes worth. But my memes, sometimes my videos are a little longer. So um, I'm just going to continue to figure out if you know something, let me know. It could be Final Cut Pro. It could be some of those things. But again, I haven't ventured that far uh, because I haven't had the time to do it. I just did whatever I could at, at the moment. And you may see that I did create one on Instagram and one on Facebook the other day. And now it's because it was under four minutes, I was able to create that one um, in terms of the title, you know, the title of it and then a little caption, if you will, from there. I'm also trying to figure out, okay, I want to find out how do I create the caption, like subtitles, so that way if there is a video, it's just speaking what it is that I'm saying and people can follow along even if they can't hear it on social media as well. So again, we're going to continue to create graphics and means. Let's get approved for that. Next one, giveaways, contests, and offers. We talked about that before. Uh, again, what are the giveaways? Okay, I don't have any camps coming up, so we're not giving away anything there. I think we're too far away from camps for that. I don't have any, um, I'm not doing any public seminars or anything right now, so we're not giving away tickets for there. Um, but I think what we can do, the only thing I can give away is my books. Okay, so I do have, I can give away my books and stuff like that. So what we can do is I have create, uploaded a YouTube video where I did a, a book sweepstake. I gave away, I think about eight books. So again, we can look to schedule another contest. Hey, we're growing our database. Hey, go ahead and sign up. We're picking five random people to give away a book by a certain time frame, And then we can continue to run throughout the week or a couple weeks. Um, in conjunction with my next level book reading that I do every morning, we can continue to run that contest to grow the network, grow the database. So again, as you're doing research, find out how can we grow? What are the ways we can do it? I know we can do um, boost posts, but what are some organic ways that we can grow? Um, you know, asking people, asking them, hey, uh, you know, invite 10 people, invite 20 people, whatever. Let's, let's do that so that way we can really increase these numbers. I'm going to constantly be having people go over here. Hey, I'm just... You know, hey, go like my page over here. But I think that there's some creative way that we can maximize the use of 5,000 people we have on, you know, Facebook, 4,900 or so, and the other ones that I think they want to do it faster. But we can, we have to deploy them. So think about that and let's give them some work to do. Let's give them some work to do because I'm straightforward with them. Um, and so let's be thinking about that as we're growing it, okay? As I said, contests and offers. Contests, you know, again, winning my book, sweepstakes, you know, to win my book and stuff like that. Uh, a free copy of the book, a chance to win, whatever. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking about that. Scheduling posts. Again, I don't think that you, I don't know if you're on, on Buffer right now. Um, but again, let's schedule, some, let's schedule some posts. I would like for, um, I would like for you to start using Buffer uh, if you're able to. So that way I can go in and we can both be scheduling stuff far out in advance. Far out in advance, so that way it's not a week, just a week to week thing. You know, the best way I think about being efficient with this is that we look and we schedule out at least two months in advance, two months in advance, um, stuff for Twitter, stuff for Facebook, stuff for Instagram, um, LinkedIn, and we start scheduling things out and we put things out there so that way we know it's running. That, then we can be very timely and present with things that have a sense of urgency or other little personal things, but let's utilize being efficient with Buffer. Okay, I am paying a subscription for it, so let's go ahead and use that as well. It also can post to Pinterest. Um, I don't know what my following is on Pinterest because I don't really use Pinterest, or I have in the past just personally, but I don't really use it. So let's just make sure that all of our social media handles are on there, and then schedule let's schedule posts so that way we, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. But I think that Buffer will really allow us to schedule post out and we can be strategic. I sent forward to you that um, idea that I had in terms of what I wanted to, what I thought about scheduling posts. Um, I want to kind of get your feedback on it. I know you sent me one as well. Is there some overlap? So give me a comment on that. Is there some overlap? Um, you know, in terms of things that we put out there, um, do you, is your strategy 
you know, at the end of the day, what does your strategy give us? Does it give us more engagement? Does it give us more, um, more likes, more following, uh, more people, bigger audience? I mean, what is that? Just so I know. Again, I always like to know the reason why um, we're doing what we're doing, okay? So scheduling post promotion and marketing. As I look at it, um, over the next couple of months, uh, I just have, I'm going to have some speaking engagements that I'm going to do, but none of them are for the public. That's what I will wind up doing. So just give you a, a sneak peek. After my, my company is developed, I'm going to be doing number one. First thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing, of course, speaking. So that's keynotes, like I'm doing keynotes, uh, workshops, multiple hour workshops on leadership, you know, leadership, culture, uh, championship culture, diversification, team building, overcoming adversity, mindset development, strategy, sales, all that. So I'll be speaking, keynotes, workshops. I'm also be doing performance coaching as well. That's like me working with individuals, helping executives and team leaders understand how to take their life to the next level, helping them develop strategies going from there. I'm also going to be doing consulting with companies. So those companies uh, that that want me, that want to be able to reach out to me to be able to come in at different times, they'll put me on retainer, and I'll be able to come in and you know consult with their companies from there. Um, so again, that's kind of one main area of my business, the company that I'm developing. The second one will be. You know, the second one will be a, a kind of a theme-based web, uh, web seminar series. So that's where these videos I'm doing on personal development. I'm like, it's going to be like, hey, six weeks, eight weeks, um, and every week I'm going to come on and I'm going to give it a theme. And then I'm going to go six courses, six weeks where I'm going to break down that subject into six weeks. People will be able to subscribe to, to join that course, that online course, it'll be free. And then after a while, we'll give them an opportunity to, you know what I mean, to pay for the rest of the course. So we'll give them a couple for free and then they can, they can basically um, sign up to be a part of that course. So that's, I'm gonna do that throughout the year. So each one will be like six weeks. So again, all the stuff I'm doing, now we're gonna turn around to some like e-course, bundle it up, if you will, from there. That's the second thing. The third thing is, I'm going to be developing something where, where we're going to do, I'm going to be doing like retreats, okay, like a two-day, a two-day or three-day experience with me as we kind of go off-site, you know, hotel, you know, kind of retreat and just kind of hold mind, body, spirit, personal, professional development, kind of a three-day, two- or three-day thing, bring some people there to, you know, experts in certain areas, talk to them, take them through exercises, take them through different, um, you know, exercises, you know, to engage them mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, professionally, everything. Um, so that's the third thing. And then I'm just kind of, and then the fourth one is my community outreach. Uh, those are the things that I do with my foundation and the youth and the community and stuff like that. So that's, that's what my brand is. That's what it's going to be. I actually going to be changing the name. Um, I'll let you know more about that, you know, as we get closer. But it, again, it's, it's a much more cleaner name, but it also says a whole lot in terms of what people are going to experience um, by being a part of our brand. So, so again, I, I say all that to say, we're not promoting that right now. I don't have any major programs that I'm promoting. However, through the foundation, probably in December, I will be doing something for the foundation, kind of a, probably a winter gala. Um, and so that's something that um, I'm just, I just hired. I just hired an executive director for my foundation now. I can pass some of the responsibilities over to, to her and she can run some of these things. So there is another person on my team, but on the foundation in itself, that will be developing some of that. All right, next thing, YouTube, moderate, upload, create, comment, schedule, whatever. So as you know, thank you. I hope you've been working with Ms. Vanjie uh, on the YouTube. Again, I record the video, I upload it. Um, I just quickly titled it. Ms. Vanjie goes in, she watches it, watches it and then she creates a, a more cleaner or more attractive title, if you will, and creates a description. Please work with her to make sure that inside of that description, at the bottom, okay, that there are some other things in there that people can uh, click to and connect to uh, to get to, to, to watch another video and so on and so forth. What we want to do, we want to give them a, we want to create a roadmap for them, right? Um, so we have one video. Hey, let's, let's put a link, a link for another video in there. Also let them know about, put in there the link for our, con, you know, for our, uh, contest, put that in there. Also put a link for, uh, join our web, I mean, joining our motivational, our e email list, put that in there as well. So again, those are just a couple of things and you can, you can be creative and think about some other ones that you think may be a good benefit to be inside the bottom of that description area. Uh, as well. So again, as you're going on there, again, schedule, moderate, upload, 
Uh, again, I think you've been getting the links. You've been putting them on the other different sites and whatever, uh, on a different site, social media. Uh, as I mentioned too, uh, yeah, you can you can go ahead and we, we do have different playlists, so you can kind of put those up there as well. I will be trying to look to change some of the thumbnails to make them more attractive uh, and yeah, more attractive from there from a graphical standpoint, but uh, that's not anything uh, that I need to do right right now, okay? Going down LinkedIn, as I said, LinkedIn is probably gonna be the number one place where a lot of the business and stuff come from. So again, we wanna make sure anything that we, we do schedule, it has more of a professional development not really personal, but professional development. So whenever we tag things there, we want to do that. I also want to be thinking about, you know, what are some other, um, you know, we can actually do some research, work with Ms. Banji. She has the access to the Harvard, Harvard Business Review uh, site and stuff. And so we can sometimes copy and put, we can put other people's stuff there. Meaning like we can take their URL and put it there and just give them resources. Hey, you know, this was a great article we, we thought about sharing. And then we put that there. So, um, and it can be in the areas of leadership, okay? So you say, well, what articles, I mean, what articles do you want me to get? What type of ones? Well, leadership, okay, time management, um, emotional intelligence, um, productivity, that's another one. Um, teamwork and team building is another one. So there, I think that's about four or five right there. So when you start looking around for different articles and stuff, you can get things from there, from Harvard's Business Review, um, and then we can actually put it inside of ours, take the URL, and we can post that as well on LinkedIn, that is, because LinkedIn is a professional. And then, of course, at the end of that, we want to make sure that we may have a resource or a link or something um, where somebody can you know, and connect with us for me for speaking and so on and so forth. They can send, you know, for booking or speaking, you know, contact Donovan at such and such. Or we can, and or we can also have in there a link or something where I did an article or I, you know, I did a video or something like that. Just, you know, just something concise, but always thinking about after they do this, then what's next? So just want to go from there. All right, Twitter. Uh, we talked about that last time. If you go to Grant Cardone TV's Twitter account, you're going to see every day he's posting about six videos that I did. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, he has somebody running their social media. I want to do the same thing. So that means on Twitter, we have to be posting about six, almost six to eight times a day. And so what he's doing is he's running the same things at different times. But that's how you schedule those posts out. We do buffer and all that stuff. We're scheduling all those out. So throughout the day, you know, and you're mixing them up, you're scrambling it up because the audiences are different at different times of the day. So we want to schedule it out there, you know, several different, we, we just want to parade that, parade that, saturate Twitter with other posts and different things like that um, on all different things that we do. So we can put the ones that I did with Grant out there. We can put some other videos. We can put the SoundCloud. We can put the video, YouTube. We can put... The morning live stuff, everything. Let's just fill it up, create a strategy about how you do it, a system about how you want to do it, and then let's just get it out there so uh, people can get access to what we have. We have a tremendous amount of stuff already. Now we got to basically plan it out, strategize it out, execute it so people can get part of it. Uh, Instagram, I mean, basically it's the same thing with Facebook in terms of, you know, uh, what we promote and how we're promoting things, uh, you know, from there, so... Uh, again, we want to continue to grow. Right now, we're, I think, like 53, 5300, 5307 in terms of the number of followers there. We want to continue to grow that. We want to continue to grow it. So uh, maybe you research and find out, hey, how do you how you grow your Instagram account? Like, let's look up that. Let's give you some strategy. Let me know. So that way we can, we can do it. You can do it, and then I can do it as well. So, you know, let's research some of those things as well, and then let's... Get it done. Next one says, create opportunities to grow database subscription. We kind of talked about that as well. How we grow the database. The email list is everything. Everything. Because after you have a long following, if you have a long following, then guess what? You can get them to do anything. Think about it. If I got a thousand people that just die hard going to follow us, whatever we do, whatever we say, then guess what? If each person, if each person in that, in that um, list spends $50 a year, you know what I'm saying? That, that's basically, um, you know, $50,000 right there. You know what I mean? That's it. One, a thousand people do exactly what you tell them to do. And then you have something for, you know, throughout the year, $50. 
you know, that's a that could be a combination of small things. It could be a hat. It could be something. That's fifty thousand dollars in revenue just right there. I mean, very low hanging fruit. So that's why email lists are important. Now, granted, you go up in the list, you know, your opportunity uh, increases from there. So I just want to make sure I'm I'm, I'm um, bringing home the point of how important it is for us to grow the database, grow our following, grow our ability to influence other people. Okay. I'm going to focus on creating the stuff and I'm going to need you to focus on helping me distribute the stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, create social media reports. I talked about that earlier at the end of each week. I want to see our social media report, which goes to which is basically a list of all of our social media accounts. And I want an accurate number of, okay, where are we at at the time, you know, at that day and you know, that, that day and time that we snapped that and now we want to see, are we growing on everything from all the Facebooks, Facebooks in a row, Twitter, Instagram, um, you know, you know, YouTube and everything. And that way, that thing right there, that sheet, that spreadsheet, that report is going to, bam, it's going to show us where we're at. And it's going to make it very, con we're going to be, become very conscious of how do we want to grow, um, how do we want to grow these things. And then I can be very conscious when I'm delivering a message to make sure I'm giving directions or, uh, for where people want to, I want them, what I want them to do uh, from there. So in, in addition to me giving directions verbally, um, you doing the research in terms of letting me know how, you know, what are like three to five things I can do to grow it based off your research, that's going to help uh, as well. So you're kind of teeing it up. And then when I sit down here, other, uh, again, other is anything else that comes up, anything else that, that comes up that you you realize will be beneficial for us. Uh, again, we can add several different things to it. So this is just my list. Now, remember, that's just that <laughs> that's just that's just social media, right? That's just social media, all things on social media. So again, you keep your plate full and at the end of the day, you know, bring in the, the time and stuff like that uh, uh, for, you know, from there that, that we're being compensated for and we're working towards. And just, again, allowing you to flow in areas of your strength. Um, I did skip over to one of the emails. Okay, so um, right now, uh, like I said, you're not managing my email account. I can handle that right now, but um, down the line, there is something that I wanted to tell you about the emails, okay? So going down to number two, we talked about database. My database is in constant contact, okay? That's the email list that we have right now, database, uh, constant contact. When I, in the past, when I have done drives and stuff to, to, to build up the database, guess what? I've seen the numbers, so it does work. People will respond to it. Um, but we just got to do it and got to be strategic. I can't do it all by myself. And I, I know you know that I can't do it all by myself. So I need some help. I need some support. I need some strategy around it. Um, so again, growing the database. And so, uh, number three, speaking business. Now, as you know, I am currently speaking right now. I've created a couple temp templates that, uh, a couple templates and communication templates that way when people reach out to me, so here's how it's working, right? Um, right now there's a link that I have. If somebody reach out to me. Uh, you know what I mean, to speak and they send me a message, contact at Diamond Dares, or they go on the website and, you know, any website that I have and they send me a speaker request form, okay? And then it comes to me. I get it. After that, I then reply back to it. This is what's happening. I reply back to it, but I created a virtual assistant that doesn't exist. Her name is Olivia. And so she basically, she basically uh, responds back to the client, um, on our be on my behalf, lay, basically letting them know, thank you for responding, this, that, and the other. Um, if they did fill out that form, then we'll respond accordingly. If they didn't, but they just want me to come in, then she sends them back the request form for them, to, the questionnaire, for, the, you know, for them to fill out. After they fill that out, after they fill it out, and it comes back, okay, and they send it, they send it back. Then what we do is we then sell, you know, then we go into negotiation in terms of, you know. Uh, you know, here's what to expect. And I have this as a template to copy and paste and go from there. Then we put the negotiation, negotiated price down there along with what the next steps will be. Those next steps meaning that they'll get a, you know, that they'll be at a, uh, they'll get a questionnaire that they'll fill out in terms of that to go deeper into that company so we can know a little bit more and customize our message. And then we'll let them know that, hey, we're gonna set up another pre, we're gonna set up a pre-call with me so I can talk to them and find out more about the answers that they have on the questionnaire and then make sure we logistically, you know, I'm able to close it all the way and we go from there. And then the final thing is, of course, getting coordinating with them the details. And Olivia, you know, quote, quote, Olivia is doing this. 
um, on my, you know, on my behalf uh, from there. And so, um, and then of course, I'll finalize with a final call like a week before just to make sure everything is good and we go from there. Olivia also, <laughs> Olivia, she also, once we close on the negotiated price for the deal, for the speaking engagement, uh, then we also pitch them a book to purchase books for their organization at a discounted price. And so again, that's the process that I have going right now uh, with it just being me. Um, and it's, you know, it's seeming to work right now. Um, but again, it, there's coming a time where it's going to grow. And so when I say speaking business, uh, there may come time where, again, I'll be able to, um, after we grow in some other areas, either yourself or somebody else, to be able to handle and manage the speaking component of communicating from an administrative standpoint. That's why I was saying it was important for me to know where you're at, I mean, not know where you're at, but for us to have communication because if I desire for you to get in that role and if I desire to say, okay, I wanna increase what I'm paying you because you're, you're taking on more tasks, then I would need to know uh, and all I can do is go by the track record of what is the communication like, what is it not like, what is the availability like, what is not. And I totally get it, like you said, as far as the weather and stuff like that, but um, I just have to do what's best for the overall big picture. And I think right now creating these videos and giving you things that you can do in your own time may be the best suited thing right now and then try to fill in the blanks. Uh, with anything else. So that's the thing I'm speaking at. NFL, number four, NFL Legends community. As I mentioned, I will, um, I send in my last video a message, uh, email that I wanted you to just basically transcribe and type out. And what I wanted to wind up doing is I want to, I'll send you an email list, a confidential email list, and then you'll be able to go ahead and, you know what I mean, and send that out to the guys um, on my behalf from my account. So that means you'll have to have my email account and you'll be able to send those things out from there, uh, from there. And again, that's just another way for me to maintain contact, you know, with guys, and just know that you can handle, you know, you can handle that part for me, um, you know, as as well. Number five, appointment appointment scheduling. Uh, right now, you don't have to schedule appointments uh, or anything. But again, that schedule once app that I had that was in the videos that I put in you guys onboarding process. That's what we'll basically be doing. So if you did have to reach out to somebody and you had to send them that meeting link, then you can send it to them. They can get it. They can post whatever they need. I mean, they can click the time that they, they need to, uh, that's available for them based off my schedule uh, as we go from there. What's happening as it is right now, I go inside that Schedule Once app online and then I make all what is my availability looks like. And then so when people go in, whatever is clicked that's available, they can actually choose from. But again, that's appointment scheduling. I'm not having you do that at this moment. But again, so you can kind of skip that. You still have it there, but skip it because we may do it in time, okay? Next one, six audiobook projects. I know last time we talked, you were actually looking at who can help us get it to the ACX um, quality. So again, any details on that, anything you've done with that, um, you know, to, to, get, to get that to that level as well. So with the audiobook. Uh, Number seven, motivational video projects. Again, any of the projects that deal with the motivational videos, um, that deal with all that stuff. Again, anything that comes with that, the more my morning videos, my Facebook Live videos, my, um, my other videos, anything that deals with that, activities, when it's talking about what did you do today, anything that dealt with that, you put that there. Next one, eight, sporting events and follow up. My next sporting events is not until the, um, not till March. That's my next sporting events. Those my spring break football camps. So once we get to around January, if you will, then we're going to be starting to mail out, email out, not mail, but email out people as far as, you know, about the 2018 camps and dates and all that stuff. So again, sporting events, we'll be putting things out there, uh, you know, to the public, but also to mainly to my database. I try to work on the inside of these associations, build a relationship from there. And so anything that we work on together, or uh, you work on in terms of sports events and the follow-up things that I'm holding, put that there. Foundation events follow-up, self-explanatory, same thing. Any foundation stuff I do have, I, I am, as I said, hiring an executive assistant to, I'm sorry, executive director to um, run the foundation. I'm just onboarding them. Matter of fact, today was her first day. So, um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, as well. Uh, outsourcing projects, that's very similar to the thing you did with Fiverr. Again, any activity you had in terms of outsourcing, outsourcing projects, I want you to go ahead and put that down there 
uh, as well. And in book, ebook projects, anything that you're doing in terms of working, you know, any activities you have in terms of the books that we're working on or the ebooks or whatever it is. Maybe you research something. Maybe you work with Ms. Vanjie on something. Whatever it is that you've done, put it there. And then number 12, online research. You know, write down the thing. Hey, what is your research? Okay, anything that you research, I re you know, research this, blah, blah, and where, where was it? Okay, research this, research, you know, so again, you put that down. And so, so for the most part, I just wanted to, sh so that's kind of the, this is the end of the day report. And what this, so what this takes the place of, okay, this takes the place of um, hub staff trying to document what project you worked on. Okay, this and also can also take care of, this can also substitute a little bit of Trello. Trello from the standpoint of having to write on the cards because you're sending this. So here's, here is my solution for creating some type of flow where we can monitor what are we working on, what needs to be worked on, where are we at with stuff, um, and how can we still all stay on the same page? Uh, we can stay on the same page from there. And so that's basically according to the format. So what I would like you to do for each one of those as you're working, as you're strategizing, as you're designing your day, for each one, you know, put down what did you work on for that area. So that means every time you send this in, every time you send this in, it should have every single one of these on there, okay? And if there's something that you didn't do, meaning there's, there's not an area that maybe today you didn't do anything creating graphics or memes, you don't have to put anything there, okay? So just don't put anything there, but just still have it there. Okay, just have it there creating graphs and memes, but just don't have anything after it, okay? But what you did do, now you're putting it down. Okay, so that way we can, you can actually see, I can actually see the same major list, right? Okay, but then I can also see the areas of things that you worked on. That snaps a picture and it goes from there. And then, of course, when it says, hey, what issue did you run in? What issue did you run into? Okay, I would like you, uh, with the issues you ran into, you don't have to put this full list, but definitely put the project name. So if you had, if you ran into an issue with creating graphics and memes, right? So then copy that, put that under the issues you ran into, and then, you know, maybe like colon or dash, and then you type in what the issues was. So that way I know the subject it falls under, and then I know the, in, you know, specific issues that you ran under so that way I can see oh, okay that's this project here it is right there okay um, and so you can put that there and then of course how can I help you I think that's the third question or whatever and you can kind of put in there um, you can just kind of put a general list if, if it's something if that works out better if it's better or easier just to say hey how can I help you I need this 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 you can put that okay and then of course the last one says a priority one um, the priority one, uh, you know, report for the most part, uh, you know, for the most part, we'll talk about. If you have any questions, Donovan, how much, how fast do you need this done? Then, and if I say something like yes today, tomorrow, or whatever, then you know those are priority ones. All right. So again, if it's something time sensitive, it's something we got to turn around and we got to get done. Then of course you just keep me updated on where we're at from there. Because if I know that, then I'll probably start at the bottom of the sheet to see, okay, priority one, you know, okay, this is where we're at, and then I can look at the review of uh, where we at project wise. So listen, I hope that helps. I hope this was. Let me know how does this help. I know it's pretty long, um, but like you mentioned, you can go back, you can watch it again. It can help you have the ideals and understanding of where am I coming from and what is that we're trying to do as you're walking out your week. And this sheet right here, you filling out this sheet as a template allows me to see consistently the same picture with a little bit of different information as we're walking this thing out, okay? So listen, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you again. Um, and let's, like I said, let's keep, let's keep getting better. Let's, let's get this down, right? Let's get very effective with this. Let's get very, very efficient, uh, you know, with what we do. And continue to show me your initiation. Continue to show me the things that I saw in that uh, report, in that uh, that interview, that that um, yeah, that yeah, that interview YouTube video. Okay, and me creating structure and also giving you autonomy. I felt like it's probably the best way that I can do it. Okay, so. Uh, Last thing I will say, I have went and I looked at some of those videos and stuff like that from the report you sent me with the uh, motivational videos or, and or the social media influencers as well. Listen, as I said, I'm very much, you, what are they doing? And let's, you know, like I said, hey, there's nothing new under the sun. What are they doing? And let's, let's get it done. 
You know, let's get it done. Let's do it from there. Let's create this community. Let's build this community. And let's use best practices, okay? And so, listen, I want to appreciate you. Thank you again. Let me know if you have any questions, all right? Peace out.